what's the Denzel twist on the role in Training Day mm. that he came up with, mm. and you sat there and go, that's Denzel. Is there a moment in that film that he put a twist on it you didn't see coming, wasn't part of the script, any story like that that you can tell? Yeah, man. When he said that, I was like, that's that's Alonzo. Like, that was something that he, he ad-libbed that moment in the beginning. Uh, he was talking to Ethan. We were rehearsing. And Denzel just said it. And he just said, my and we were just kind of, the whole room froze. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, we're putting that in the movie. <laughs> we're doing that, <laughs> you know. But it was one of those things that, you know, you, I saw Alonzo. He started smiling when he said it. He was so um, just devious, you know, and that I saw Alonzo. And I think that was the moment I knew that he was going to put a whole different twist on this guy. You know, the first scene I shot was in the cafe. Mm -hmm. And... When he was sitting there and Ethan started talking and the way he started smiling and leaned back and started to get comfortable, like I could see Alonzo. And those are the moments where I knew he was just on fire, you know. But the, 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 what really uh, sort of put the, the real icing on it was King Kong. You know, he was just at a, he was, Denzel was just, he was vicious in that movie. Uh, he was charming, he was seductive, but he was vicious. And when we shot that scene, King Kong, that was him. That was all him. So when you say that's all him, you mean his inflection or he yeah, came up with he the He came up with the, the line. He, I don't, he came over to me afterwards and said, I don't even know where that came from. In fact, I got one take of that, right? And I'm shooting anamorphic. And anamorphic, you know, you got to be like, my, my focus puller came up to me and he was shaking. He was like, I, I, I hope I got it. And so when I got to the editing bay, I told my editor, it was a little, it's, if you looked at the movie, there's a little bit of a buzz on it. Mm -hmm. Just the eyes get a little blurry on it. Mm -hmm. My editor said, it's so amazing, nobody's going to ever notice it. I haven't noticed that. Yeah, but Not I once. got one take. <laughs> and that came from Denzel. He was just in a certain place. And I just came out of him. And, and I remember a, a few gang members coming up to me going, man, he's out of here. Like, it, it was like. When he, hit, when he hit, the, I'll go back. Mm -hmm. When he walked outside and he said, you in the office, baby, and he hit the switch mm -hmm. in the car. Yeah, right. A few gang members, boom. I remember Bone walked over to me. He goes, oh, shit, man, this movie's a hit, man. Mm -hmm. This movie's gone. Mm -hmm. And that was, in the, that was the first thing I shot. But that's all Denzel. That's just his, he just put swagger on it, you know? Antoine Fuqua here on the Rich Eisen Show, The Equalizer 3. He doesn't do too many sequels, so... Never have. That's the first one. This is it, right? This I mean, is it. so what do you think uh, it is? What I mean, your collaboration, obviously he wants you involved and you want him involved, yeah. so and you love being involved together. Absolutely. So yeah. what do you think clicks here? There's something about the character that I think Denzel really likes. I know he likes the idea of justice, of course. We all... That's what we, we do it for. Um, there's something about the complexity of that character, the OCD, the sort of um, tortured, quiet soul of that character that mm -hmm. I think Denzel just responds to, you know. Um, he came up with the uh, the OCD. That's something he just started doing. You know, I didn't even know what he, he, he wanted a napkin, he wanted a cup, and we were sitting there in the, in the, uh, the first one in the um, coffee shop, and he just started doing it, mm -hmm. you know? And I, would, I just let the camera roll. I just started capturing it. It, was, it became a part of that character. So there's something about Robert McCall that Denzel really responds to. Uh, I mean, you'd have to ask him what that is. Sure. But yeah, you know. But what about it from you? I mean, you... I, I love the complexity of the character. I love the idea of a dark angel handing out justice, you know? Mm -hmm. And in a movie, we get, to, we get to give bad guys their just due, you know, uh, in a brutal way. Um, so he's sort of a, um, he's a reluctant uh, savage when it comes to that. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.